our next guest is the master of Rosa, Virtue Rosto, if you will, and oh, you will. He has a new, very personal one-man show that will make you laugh and maybe even cry. It's called Take a Banana for the Ride. You can get tickets at RoastmasterGeneral.com. Please welcome Jeff Ross. <laughs> Is this you on the, the suit? No. Oh. oh, all right. I thought maybe somebody made that especially for you. Kid Super in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. All right. Kind of up my game for JKL, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you're looking good. Got a good looking crowd here. I had to look good. How's my hair? My hair okay? It's gone. <laughs> my hair okay? Did you like roasting the kids? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And they re one of the kids I thought uh, recognized me. Turns out he thought I was Voldemort's lawyer. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me do that. Jeff, I want to mention, over 25 years ago, I don't know when we, when did we meet? How long ago? I guess it? we probably met in the late 90s, right yeah. before the man show started. You had a show, a one-man show that you did called yeah. Take a Banana for the Ride. Right. And you gave me a VHS tape of it. You'd done it before we met. And I was yeah. like, this is fantastic. I mean, I watch it. It was really, you know, it's, it's very emotional, very personal, very sad, very funny, all of those things. And I've been saying to you, you got to do yeah. that. You got to do that again. And I'm so happy that you're doing that again. Thank you, Jimmy. Thanks for remembering that. I remember you were very encouraging. I did this, this show as a young comic before the roast started. And I wasn't emotionally tough enough to talk about it because I was talking about life and death and some of the stuff I went through as a young man and uh, how my grandfather kind of stepped in and took over and yeah. moved in with me as I was a young comic. And uh, he would give me a few dollars for the toll. We lived in Jersey and a banana. And, he'd, and I'd go in in New York and to wow. do my open mics and he'd say, take a banana for the ride, which I would be like, I don't need a banana, you know? And, and then seven hours later, I'm stuck in the Holland Tunnel in traffic with low blood sugar. I was like, should have taken that damn banana. <laughs> and bananas are great. It's good life advice. They're high in potassium and a, in a pinch, you could use it as a dildo. It's like, <laughs> Bananas are great. But your grandfather didn't mention that. He uh... <laughs> No, no, he didn't. But it was his way of saying, I can't go with you, because he was old and he was not well. But, you know, I'm going with you in spirit. And then I grew up, and I realized it's like decades later, and bananas are kind of like people. They get bruised, but they're still good. Yeah, that's right. And that's the more right. they get bruised, the sweeter they are. So I roast people at the end of the show, and I give everybody a banana at the end of the show and say, take a banana for the ride. And That's nice. And uh, my grandfather was one of the coolest guys. He was a, an old construction worker. There, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Here's Jack, my right? Was Pop Jack. Name? Yeah. And, you know, we were two single guys. I was like 23. He was like 80 years old. And I was like, Pop, you really should go to the senior center and, like, meet, meet some women, you know, your age. <laughs> and he went. He finally went. And they loved him because at 80, he could still drive at night. And that's a big thing in that world. <laughs> I'd say, Pop, how was your date? Did you get lucky? I gave her a jump. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your parents at what age? You're... I lost my mom when I was uh, 14. She got sick when I was 12, but she passed away when I was 14 from leukemia. Right. And my father, uh, I was 19 when he passed away from cocaine, quite frankly. And, uh, and... I learned early on, you know, we mourn and then we move on. You can't mourn forever or a part of you dies. When and did you learn that? I learned that then. And I learned, you know, you really have to be prepared for anything can happen in life. My sister and I, we be, you know, we're very tight. I've spent the weekend with her just now. And we learned early on. Oh, oh there we are. And your, your That's sister. just two months before my mom passed away. She's actually wearing a wig in that picture because she was sick. And uh, one of our last family pictures together. And my sister's awesome. My sister Robin wanted her kids, uh, as a mom, she wanted her kids to learn about the circle of life. So she got them a goldfish. And their kids, her kid's grandmother died a week later, and that goldfish is 23 years old now. So Is it really? <laughs> you never know in life what's going to happen. <laughs> 
<laughs> Life's very unpredictable, Jimmy. It's an old fish. It's an old, oh, I like one. <laughs> Thank you. That's good, that's good. I like you that. You show these slides during the, uh, the, the show There's that you do? There's some film and, and pictures, and it, it, it's a very cathartic. I didn't want it to be, we call it a one-man show, because what else are you going to say? It's just me up there for the whole show. But it really is an interactive thing with the audience. I talk to the audience a lot, and uh, I bring people on stage if they're going through certain challenges or celebrations in their life. And I have music in the show. What kind of music do you have in the show? I, 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 I have a, a couple of songs. One of them's called uh, Don't F With The Jews. <laughs> yeah, Don't F With The Jews. <laughs> you know, a little little sample of, of oh, that? Oh, well, I say, you know, the Jews have been around 4,000 years. You know, we survived the Pharaoh, the Nazis, and Saddam Hussein. And if Jesus comes back, we'll kill him again. <laughs> that's a little, that's something my great-grandma used to sing to me when I was a little kid. <laughs> you know, I just found out that the singer Adele is Jewish. Is that right? Her full name is Adela Catesta. I didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I think we have another picture uh, uh, here from the show. What do we have here? Oh, that's that me. is, oh, wow, look at that. See, Jimmy, you know, before I knew you, when I was a teenager, uh, I worked in the family catering hall. My great grandma Rosie started a catering hall in Newark, New Jersey, weddings in the 1950s before women really had big businesses like that. She was a pioneer in her field. and. Her sons ran it. My uh, grandfather was the band leader, and my Uncle Murray ran the kitchen. Your mean Uncle Murray. My mean right? Uncle Murray. You've right. heard about Mean Murray. He, uh, I would roll meatballs and make fruit salad, and, and my, my mean Uncle Murray, we called him Mean Uncle Murray because he once called his granddaughters the looker and the cooker. <laughs> so he got the name Mean Murray, and I had buck teeth as a little kid, so my, grand, my my uncle Murray would just torture me. He would tease me all the time. He'd make me cry. I really, truly hated this guy oh, really? for a long time. And then I grew up and I realized he was giving me thick skin. He was preparing me for real life. And I got my revenge on my uncle Murray's 90th birthday. The whole family got together and we roasted him. <laughs> I said, Uncle Murray's planning a big trip soon to that vase on top of the mantle. <laughs> so. Uncle Murray, I salute you. So if you like if you like family stories and you need like a little bit of a cathartic experience, I, I call it like it, it's like it's like a, it's like a, a for your brain, it's a very healing show. And and a lot of people, you know, they take vitamins, they exercise, but don't forget to laugh. Don't leave serotonin out of your daily regimen. We got one more uh, speaking of laughing, look, oh. this is a group of funny guys yeah. right there. Yeah. Look at that. Where was that, Jeff? That was at Jones Restaurant right here in Hollywood. Uh, I was, you can see how happy I am to be with not just uh, three guys that I love, but they were also very dear friends of mine and with each other. And when they all passed away right in a row, not too long ago, I, yeah. I, I was very affected by that. Uh, and that sort of inspired me, Jimmy, to look back at the old show that you were referencing earlier. Interesting. And say, well, what did I learn back then as a young man? What can I apply to it now? And how can I um, sort of pass some of that wisdom and experience on to other people? Well, and what I learned what when I look at the photograph is, I mean, sadly, you're next. I mean, <laughs> you know. I hope so. I hope so. There's a pattern there. Look at me. <laughs> even, even my hair ran away from that. <laughs> Look at Jeff me. Ross, everybody. You got to go see his show. It's called Take a Banana for the Ride, November 1st in Chicago, and then at the New York Comedy Festival, November 3rd through 5th at the Hard Rock Hotel. You can get tickets at roastmastergeneral.com. Jeffrey Ross. Thank you, Jeff. We'll be back with State